So let's see how easy it is to use the multiple hoops that have been added to in Brilliance Essentials. First, let's select our hoop. Choose it from the hoops that are listed under your format. The new hoops that are multi-position will have the words multi listed here. If you do not see them and you have installed the latest version, click on the defaults and this will reload all of your hoops. So we're going to select our multi-position hoop, click apply, and if you want to rotate it, choose rotate 90 degrees and again click apply. So now we have our hoop displayed on screen. This is the entire hoop border shown with the two individual sections. We can treat it just like you would any other hoop in the program. So let's add a design. I'm going to go to the open and go to my design files and choose design. It's automatically centered in the hoop and now I can again treat this design and this hoop just like I would any other design. I can resize it, add lettering, rotate, merge designs, center them in the hoop, and as soon as I am done and ready to save or split the design, all I have to do is click on the save button, and this will ask me where I'd like to save the file, and the default is to save it as split design. We'll keep the default name, click save, and that's it. I can open up my Windows Explorer, or Apple Finder in this case, and I can see, because I have Thumbnailer installed, that in my folder where I saved the design, not only do I have the original file, but I also have the split design bottom, which is the first file that needs to get stitched. I have the top, which is the second file. I have the working file, which is shown here, which allows me to edit the design in the future. And finally, I have a text file. This text file gives me the stitching information. It tells me which design needs to stitch first, in what position, and what the thread colors need to be. And that's how easy it is to use the multiple position hoops in Embrilliance Essentials.